The Emerson Sheepdog. This knife is a collaboration between Lieutenant Colonel David Grossman and Ernie Emerson. As a quick side note for this video, this is my first foray into 4K video. So if you have not already done so, look down in the corner here and crank up the resolution to 4K for the most detailed viewing. But back to the knife itself. Grossman, if you're not familiar with him, is a retired West Point professor, retired Army Ranger, and more recently has gotten into the study of how stress and combat affect the body. He went to Ernie and suggested a collaboration knife, and really the only thing that I think he really requested was, for the most part, a flipper, which is a new design for Ernie. And along with that, he wanted both the thumb disc and the wave opening feature and left the rest up to Ernie. And this is the result of that collaboration. If you've not read Grossman's books on killing and on combat, I would check them out. They are well thought out, well researched, well written. They can be a bit dry at times because of all the data they have, but if you get a chance to see his Bulletproof Mind seminar in person, do not miss it. I've seen it a couple times. Here's a little snippet from the end of the full day seminar. Because I am an armed American citizen. I am the spirit of Lexington and Concord, endowed by my creator with inalienable rights empowered by my constitution to keep and bear arms, inspired by my forefathers to fight for this land I love. I am an armed American citizen, and this is as far as the bastards are gone. Let's get some of the basics of this knife out of the way. This knife retails for $239.95, and you can get the street prices more around $210, $220, dollars depending on where you find it. It does come in a couple options. They're all black G10. I'll get into this stuff with Emerson's in a bit. But there are two blade options. There is the Bowie style blade and more of a spear point style blade. And then they come in both the black and the stone washed finish. Overall length of this is 8.4 inches. The blade is three and a half inches. And the blade stock is the standard Emerson blade stock of 0.125 inches. Speaking of standard Emerson, one of the things with Emerson is that he has come up with a formula for his knives and he pretty much carries that through all of his knives. So when you get an Emerson, you really, you kind of know what you're getting. It's not like some other companies where they have all these different designs. And just to use as a sort of an example, here's my mini CQC 15, which I really like, although now I'm spoiled. I wish it had a flipper. I'm missing that on this. But just to show you how Emerson's are, you know, common things being common on Emerson's are common, let me uh, show you some examples. All Emerson's come with an overly grippy, out of the box, G10 scales. These scales will tear up your pocket when you first get them, so if you need to, they'll wear down eventually with time, but you can take some really fine grit sandpaper and sand it down a little bit, especially on the pocket clip side, because underneath that pocket clip, that will be unpleasant to your pocket. Speaking of the pocket clips, Emerson pocket clips are all pretty much universal. They're nice because they are nice and smooth and rounded there. So it's not a sharp edge underneath the pocket clip. They all have lanyard holes up here. One of the new things with the Sheepdog is that it is tapped for both right and left sided carry, unlike all of previous Emersons. Emersons all have steel liners nested under the G10 scales and they previously had backspacers and more recently they're starting to go with this open design with the backspacer there. The other thing I like about Emerson's is they all have standard hardware, which I really appreciate. The screws, flathead screws up at the pivot, and in the back here, just normal Phillips head screwdrivers. None of this funky Torx bit stuff here where you have to have special tools. Torx bit, can't adjust the stuff without fancy stuff, or maybe you need a spanner tool to get into it. But with the Emerson's, sometimes maybe I just have a set of nail clippers around and I can get right in there and adjust that nice and easy. So I really like that he's made it so easy to adjust his knives. The new thing with the Sheepdog that Emerson has not done before, two big new things, is that he has a flipper, and along with that flipper, it now rides on a ball bearing system, whereas all of his previous knives ride on washers. And this CQC-15 obviously does not have a flipper, but the washers, I've had this for a while, I really need to take it apart and clean it because this has just become stiff. And so I need to take it apart, clean it, lube it up some, but if I loosen it up, it becomes uncentered, but pretty stiff. With this, with the new flipper and the uh, ball bearing system, it just rockets right open. You can do it with a small amount of effort, just a small push, it'll open up, or if you really put a lot of force, it really rockets right open. 
You can also certainly use the thumb disc to open it up, or you can use the wave feature as on all other Emerson. So plenty of ways to open this. With this flipper, one of the things I also appreciate is that he made it comfortable. It's nice and smooth there compared to some other knives like my Hinderer. The Hinderer has jimping on the flipper and the edge of it is really kind of sharp. So with repeated flipping, this is not really all that pleasant on your finger. On this one, I like that he's made it nice and rounded so it's easy on your finger and it really doesn't take that much pressure, like I said, and you can just open it and it flips right open. Size of this, use of this, it's made, you know, with, with Grossman's input in it and the intent, it's made as a offensive defensive combat kind of knife. However, I certainly don't see why you couldn't use this as an everyday carry type of knife, which is what I plan to use it for because I have no desire to get in a knife fight with anyone. But that said, this blade shape is certainly mean enough that you could do quite a bit of piercing with it. The spear point might be a little bit more utilitarian, but I just like the blade shape of this, so I picked this one up. Size-wise of this, it's uh, I guess it's kind of a medium-sized folder. And just to compare it to a couple other knives, let's start with, I already showed my Mini CQC 15. And this makes my Mini CQC 15 actually seem almost downright small. And the, the length is not hugely different, and the width is obviously the same because all Emersons are pretty much common. But the thing that really got me with this, and the thing that, that really the only downside I don't like about this knife is the size of the choil. Right down in here, the choil is just really wide this way. Comparing it to the Mini CQC 15, you can see how much different that is. And you really notice that in your pocket. And comparing it to some other knives, like a paramilitary 2, hugely different, a ZT562, quite a bit different, and a Hinderer, quite a bit different. So this added choil down here is great for holding and all, but I just wish it was a little bit smaller this way for a little bit easier carrying in your pocket. Because of this big choil, it doesn't fit into some of the knife pockets of some of my pants. It will not fit into the knife pocket on my Vertex pants, which is frustrating to me, but it will fit in to the knife pocket on my TrueSpec pants. So it just kind of depends on what pants you're having. Otherwise, sometimes I've taken to putting this knife up in my front pocket and putting my pen in my knife pocket if it doesn't fit. But otherwise, the size comparison, here it is compared to a ZT562. Fairly similar in size, I would say. The ZT is a little bit narrower through the body here, similar with the Hinderer. I mean, these are both Hinderer design knives, but the Hinderers are a little bit narrower through the body, whereas this one has a bit more of a wide body. Width-wise, they are pretty close. The Hinderers, I don't know, maybe they're a hint more comfortable in the hand just because they're a little bit smaller, but by no means is this knife uncomfortable. It's still very comfortable in the hand, and maybe that bigger size gives you a little bit more grip on it. And then a paramilitary two. Again, much, much narrower body through here. Smaller choil. This one's going to carry a lot smaller and it's, it's lighter for that matter as well. But certainly not as tough of a knife as the Emerson is. Here you can see the lock up on it. And a lot of people with Emersons complain about sticky locks. And on my Mini CQC 15, it's, I would say it's a little bit sticky, definitely. You have, to, you have to have to move it over a little bit. This one, I've seen other people complain about this, and it is just there. I wouldn't even say it's sticky. I would say it's just what I would expect for uh, essentially just needing to, to not move with the liner lock there. So it moves over. It's very easy to move. And once it's there, there is a little bit of a cutout there so you can get your thumb in there to get it moved over some jimping down there on the liner. So I don't really have a problem with the lock on this. I've seen other people complain of really sticky locks. The other complaints I've seen with this knife is that when it's closed, it's sloppy here with a lot of blade play. Mine really does not have that with the detent. The detent is fairly, not strong, but it, it's not moving anywhere. And then once you get past the detent, it comes open nice and easy. So I don't have any problems with that. Came perfectly centered. Let's have a, uh, have a look at the blade now. All Emersons come with 154 CM steel, which it's not a super steel, but 
for me, it works really well and honestly cuts better than my hinderer, which I think I'm actually going to sell. But the blade itself, it cuts really well. It is a chisel ground, so it only has a bevel on one side and not the other, unlike most knives that have the bevels on both sides. And from what I understand, his theory on this is that if you were ever out somewhere and you needed to sharpen it on a rock, you could do it. You wouldn't have to do both sides, so it's a little bit easier for sharpening in that respect. On here, there is the stone wash there, and then a different finish down there towards the bevel. Emerson logo, sheepdog knives all made in USA, which is nice. Over here, sheepdog knife and gun, which is Grossman's company, and then you can see his logo right there. So there's quite a bit of writing on this blade. Some people I've seen complained about it. I don't really care at all. And on the other side, it is just plain. Decent beefy blade, and this knife cuts really well. Came nice and sharp, and I really like the blades on the Emerson because they just work. They work so well, they cut so well, they're tough. I think Emerson tries to make all of his knives so that you can stab them through the hood of a car, big or small. Again, that's where his knives are all made essentially the same, and I appreciate that about them. So overall thoughts on the knife. When I got it, I was a little bit... I don't know, frustrated is the word. I didn't, I just didn't care for this big, huge choil here. It just seemed to carry kind of big. And like I said, doesn't fit into some of my pants knife pockets. Now that I've been carrying it for a couple weeks, I really don't mind it. Uh, I put it down in my pocket. I might, it might be a little bit big to carry in certain, you know, jeans or tighter pants because it's not a super small knife. It carries a little bit bigger than say my hinderer or Quite a bit bigger, I would say, than the Mini CQC 15, which I used to think was a big knife. The flipper, though, he hit the ball out of the park on this flipper because it is just so nice. He needs to put this flipper on all of his knives, both the flipper and the ball bearings. I've heard he's going to maybe come out with it on a few other models, which would certainly make me buy it. Boy, I wish he had both of those on this Mini CQC 15. I would buy another one because this, I love the blade on this. I love the size of it. The other thing that I would be maybe curious to do with Emerson's would be if they had a frame lock, mostly just to make the side a little bit less rough. That wouldn't make the knife, I guess, a little bit heavier because of more steel versus just the G10 here. But the formula works for him. He continues to go with it and he makes some great knives. So check it out, the Emerson Sheepdog.